Spotlights. Welcome to this month's Mirrorless Spotlight. My name is Nasha Springer. I'm the social media and marketing manager here at Mural Arts Philadelphia. I use she, her, they, them pronouns. Today, we're speaking with amazing artist Serena Saunders about her murals taking up space located at 1915 Cherry Street. Serena, thank you so much for joining me today. It's great to see you here. Yes, yeah, the same. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Awesome. So firstly, could you just tell me about your background as an artist and your pronouns? Yes. So my pronouns are she, her, they, them. And my background as an artist is I've been an artist all my life, I feel. So I'm very like cheesy Saturday morning cartoons, crayons and construction paper, wanted an easel for Christmas as a kid artist, right? So I always felt better with charcoal on my hands or like paint on my clothes um, since I was a very little girl. So I think I, I, I would say I was born an artist. Awesome, that's amazing to hear. Now, could you tell me a little bit about your relationship with mural arts, how you ended up working with mural arts? Sure. Um, so actually my relationship with mural arts goes back some time. Um, my first introduction to mural arts was actually as a child who saw murals in their neighborhood growing up. So that's kind of cool because I can remember being like a youth and walking around West Philly and seeing murals and not even understanding yet that it was mural arts, right? So that was like my introduction was through the work they do. Mm -hmm. um, and then in my like nonprofit days, I used to teach for mural arts at their um, after school programs and summer camps. So I was able to go into a few different schools throughout Philadelphia as a teaching artist for mural arts. Um, so that was my, my like way into the building. And then I some, somewhere in there learned that to create murals, you had to kind of like take some additional study with mural arts and kind of get some things under your belt. And many, many years passed before I was reintroduced to mural arts as a muralist, which is, of course, like the icing on the cake of the relationship, I would say. Um, and more recently, in the last three years or so, I've been able to work with the Restorative Justice Program. Um, so it's almost like a full circle moment to go from teaching over a decade ago um, in after school programs to now being with the Restorative Justice Program um, as a mural artist. That's amazing to hear. Um, so my next question for you is, how did you become involved with creating Taking Up Space? So like most of the murals with mural arts, um, as an artist, you just get to have a really happy moment one day where you get an email saying that a client is interested in your work possibly or that you're like in the running for this mural opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I found out about Take Up Space. And so what's kind of great about that is once you learn of it, it's already a ball in motion. I think that's one of the cool things about mural arts is they're kind of doing the work behind the scenes. And then once it gets to the artist, a lot of those wrinkles are, are already kind of ironed out and you can kind of just step into the conversation as a creative. And so that's how I first learned about it um, through like a conference call with Amdocs and Comcast and a few like people who were involved and they shared with me their idea and why they thought I would be a good fit. I hear um, And could you tell me a little bit about what your inspiration and process was that you went into creating this mural? Yes, yeah, so what was pretty cool about this um, process, like many of the murals I find, is there are so many ideas, right? The client has ideas and dreams and visions, the place where it's going to live, like the school building, they have an interest in what it's going to say. And then it's the community at large that we're speaking to. And sometimes that can just be a lot of ideas, right? And so with this one, what was really nice with Take Up Space is that the idea was to literally take up space for girls in STEM to take up space in occupations and rooms that they're not normally um, a large quantity in, right? That they're the minority mm -hmm. in. So my idea was to kind of take that idea and really use it as a literal space, which is what we did. We tried to create this like infinite space on the wall by using like the galactic space, right? Um, to kind of play on the word of take up space. 
And it allowed us to really dive into storytelling in a more abstract way, which lit for everybody's ideas to be heard and included. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. And I definitely understand what it means to be a female working in a space where it's definitely male dominated sometimes. Absolutely. Uh, and I'd love to know, you obviously told me about uh, what, what they wanted to see in the mural, but what did the community engagement look like for the mural? Yeah. So for the, the community engagement, what was really great was well, one for our paint day, we were able to work with like a local Girl Scouts troop, mm -hmm. which I thought was really, really awesome, as well as some of the um, folks over at Amdocs who mm -hmm. had been very involved from the very beginning. And they were like very interested in that, um, that kind of like passing on a baton of information, like that generational multi-layer um, idea of women supporting women and women passing on that energy and letting the next one fly even further. And that's where the idea of the butterflies in space came in. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of cool thing happens when you take an idea and you start to research it. And as we were doing research for the project, myself and my project manager, Mary, was like very, very um, instrumental in that piece of it we learned that there was like this butterfly nebula or nebulous mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. that's a real thing. And it all just felt destined at that moment that that was what the design, um, the direction it was going to, it should have led in. Mm -hmm. And all those pieces together informed the mural. Okay, awesome. Now, I definitely am curious. I've seen so many other of your beautiful murals. Do butterflies have a, an important meaning to you? I've just seen them in a number of them. You know, they do. And it's one of those things, um, I think Jane Golden may have asked this question recently. It's one of those things that you don't realize until you're like seven and right. And you realize, mm -hmm. that, oh, there's butterflies flying around these murals or there's flowers. And I, um, the truth of it is they do have a deep meaning for me personally. I look at all of my work as the way I try to explain it is like the beauty and the struggle. Mm -hmm. And um when I think of beauty and struggle, I, I definitely think of like the life cycle of the butterfly mm -hmm. and the caterpillar eating the dirt and doing all the work so that the butterfly can then live and, and can then fly. And I've used that in many, many times for my own kind of thinking of seeing process because mm -hmm. I see the eating the dirt of the caterpillar as the work. And so to me, the butterfly does kind of represent um, the coming out moment after the work mm -hmm. is done. And so I think they they are great to show like how resilient we are and um, how we can take flight. Oh, that's very beautiful. And this is an amazing segue. Do you have any advice for young aspiring artists? Yes. Um, I almost feel bad because I feel like young artists get get kind of bombarded with advice right because it's such art in itself is a very abstract career mm -hmm. it can look like so many different things and mm -hmm. it's almost difficult to give great advice or good advice without knowing that person's dream mm -hmm. right um a fashion designer's advice could be completely different from a mural artist or an mm -hmm. anime or whatever so yeah. i would say have the courage to be an artist. If I had to give the simplest advice, it would be, it takes courage to be a creative and build up your courage muscles and fight for your vision and fight for your dream. And very inspiring words. So I would like to know what you're currently working on and if there are any projects that we should keep an eye out for. Okay, um, so we just finished two murals. Um, literally weeks ago and so currently I'm working on more um, commission work so I have a few great commissions I'm working on of course I can't go into detail because they're client-based but I like, one is a book cover for a woman or um, a woman author so I'm excited about that another one well, I can't say that at all because it's just the commission is a surprise okay. I, <laughs> it's okay um, forward to it <laughs> Yeah, but outside of that, I'm actually working on a series of paintings um, 
that's around the energy I would like to see spilled into Philadelphia right now mm-hmm. called Hill Streets, Hill, H-E-A-L. And mm-hmm. they're part of like my very personal collection of work. And hopefully they'll um, do what I hope they do. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Yeah, and I most certainly know that we all are looking forward to your new work. And where can we find you on social media? And do you have a website? Okay, sure. So I am the same across everything. Um, Instagram, (laughs) my website, Twitter. I need to do better on there. But everywhere I'm the same name. And that's Mm -hmm. Miss Passion Art. Mm -hmm. Miss M.S passion and art all together ms passion art all right great and lastly is your work currently on display so um the murals are on display all over philadelphia Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. and um i'm also going to be um one artist as part of a group exhibition that's opening up at the sheraton hotel downtown next month Mm-hmm. So that's awesome and to be a part of and um yeah some other work sprinkled throughout all right awesome thank you so much Serena, for joining us it's this month's july near the spotlight i love seeing your work i love seeing butterflies and until next time everyone make sure to stay inspired and continue being yourself awesome yes i second that <laughs> <laughs> Bye.